Hi there, welcome to Daily Monster 19. Thank you all for all the nice comments on yesterday's Straw Monster. I'm glad you liked that one as much as I did. And today, we actually have a question. A question from my friend Lauren, who may or may not have been prompted by me to ask the following. Do you have any tips for drawing in perspective, especially upside down? Good question, Lauren. Well, perspective is tricky. So, I mean, you basically start by doing the same thing as you would drawing perspective right side up, which is to picture the thing in your mind and just draw it as you would from life, but trying to focus very hard on the object that you have in your head. And as you can see here, sometimes that goes wrong, and then you got to fix it. And that's sort of the difference between drawing for yourself and drawing unobserved, your sketchbook, just in your studio, or if you're drawing as I do right now, as part of a performance. And of course, I want to make myself look good, so I could have just started over, or I could have edited some things, hidden some things. But this is what it really looks like. I mean, sometimes I just screw up. And it's usually because the image isn't clear in my head and I'm trying to sort of figure it out. And I try to do it too quickly. And so I try to draw what I think I know without really focusing. I mean, that's what you're seeing in action here is really having to focus and really having to get the image into my head. Because if I just shoot from the hip, you can see exactly what happens. I keep getting it wrong sort of the same way over and over again. And then eventually, I just calmed down, slowed down my breathing, and made it happen correctly. And so it is in life. Thank you again for watching. As always, let me know what you think, and I'll see you again tomorrow.